On July 4th, 1776, our forefathers bravely declared that the United States of America shall forever be a democracy. Since then, many men and women have sacrificed to keep that freedom. We salute to them on Veterans Day. On November 11th, our country will be celebrating Veterans Day, where we will have the opportunity to honor the brave men and women who have served our country so bravely. Veterans Day takes place on the 11th of November because in 1918, at 11 a.m. on November 11th, World War I ended. That was the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Veterans Day was designated as a federal holiday to honor World War I veterans. Wait, who's a veteran and what's a federal holiday? I'm glad you asked. A veteran is a man or woman who has served in the military in peacetime or has fought in war. Veterans serve to protect us and our freedom. In the United States, a federal holiday is a calendar day that is recognized and designated by the federal government as a holiday. For example, Labor Day, Memorial Day, and Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Throughout history, many veterans have served in one of the five traditional branches of the military, Coast Guard, Marines, Navy, Army, Air Force. America would not be the country that it is today without its great diversity. Whenever our country has many needs, people from all races and cultures have come together and bravely served our country. The Navajo code talkers were Native Americans who used their tribal language to send secret communication on the battlefield during World War II. The Tuskegee Airmen were a group of primarily African American military pilots and airmen who fought in World War II. The 442nd Infantry Regiment is considered to be the most decorated unit for its size in U.S. military history. It was composed of mainly second generation Japanese Americans. They saw heavy action in Europe in World War II. Today, the fifth grade would like to honor some special veterans in our lives. From parents, grandparents, extended family and friends, we thank them all for their service and the sacrifices they made for our country. 